sample preparation. Okay. Okay. So there's the two types of NMR that we most commonly do are proton NMR and carbon NMR. Uh, for proton NMR, you're going to want to use two to ten milligrams of your sample compound. Uh, and for carbon NMR, you're going to want to use ten to fifty milligrams of that compound. Another important thing is the deuterated solvent, of which you're going to use about 0.6 milliliters to one milliliter of. Um, so the sample depth is about four to five centimeters um, from the bottom of the NMR tube. So there's two ways that we prep our samples here. Uh, the first is to take that amount of the compound and put it in a sample vial, like so. And then to mix the solid into solution until it's dissolved. And then you would just pipe at the solution into the NMR tube. The other method that we use is to just take this glass out of our tube, put a bit of sample on a weighing paper, like so, and then to kind of just take some of the solid and scoop it into the NMR tube, and then lightly tap to allow the solid to go in, and then take degraded solvent. So, you're going to want to cap your sample from these colorful NMR caps. And there you go, it's prepared. Um, the final step is to make a lovely label, as so, uh, with the drawing of your compound, uh, the type of nuclei you want to observe, the solvent in which it is placed, so this deuterate solvent is on chloroform, uh, the date as well as your initials so that that can be returned to you. Uh, and to clean the NMR tubes, we usually just empty uh, the solution out into the appropriate waste bottle and then clean them out with some acetone and put them in the drying oven.